Well, thanks for tuning in to uh, Leading Forecast, and I tell you what, a um, significant storm system starting to make its presence known here across the United States. Here's the big 500 millibar trough coming in from the west, and a lot of wind starting to come in from the uh, southerly jet stream here. You can see some of the ascent coming off the mountains here as those winds. Uh, start to kick in. A little bit of a system starting to move through the Great Lakes region, but that's not anything too major. Let's go on over and take a look at radar right now. And you can see uh, some precip going on down here across Sierra Nevada and then up towards northern Indiana, northern Ohio, into Wisconsin, a mixed bag of precip, and then a, little, a few showers up across the northeast. Nothing too major. Winter storm watches and warnings, warnings in effect from central Wisconsin all the way down through uh, Iowa, southeastern Nebraska, northern. Kansas, and then we do have these blizzard wings in effect for eastern Colorado, western Kansas as of right now, and I think those will probably be extended north and east as the system moves through. Uh, going on over, we can see here's the kind of a combination of the GFS, Euro, RPM, NAM, and GEM models, and uh, I didn't don't want to show you these individuals, so I just kind of made a track, and you can see very good uh, agreement on the track, at least until you get into Illinois. The interesting thing becomes all these are 12Z with the exception of the RPM. The RPM is a newer model. It's a 21Z at about uh, 4 or 5 o'clock. And that got probably got some new data entered into it. As this trough came on board, uh, it came on board, and that's the only one that has probably some of those data, hole filled, data holes filled. Uh, basically what happens is as the trough comes on board, um, we get better data from it as it gets onto the west coast than, say, when it was offshore. And all these models, like I said, with the exception of the RPM, had offshore data. So that's uh, very interesting that the newer model starts to take this storm system south as it is now just now coming on board. Taking a look, talk about that. There's your 500 millibar trough. That's what we're talking about. Just now entering into, um, into California. We have this little disturbance moving through the Great Lakes region. This is tomorrow afternoon. Big trough digging in here. Still in a neutral tilt, but watch as we get into Thursday afternoon about 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Big negative tilted trough here. A lot of advection going on. And look at the difluent flow here. A lot of difluent flow causing some serious lifting of the air. We're going to get some serious snow out of this storm. Low pressure center now off of, into the northeast as we get into early afternoon on Friday about 2 p.m. Trough digs in here. We start to get this cut or this uh, closed low situation going on across the northeast at 500 millibars. Uh, let's go on over. This is a slight risk of severe weather. This is as we get into tomorrow. Damaging winds, large hail, perhaps a few tornadoes across that slight risk area from central Missouri, southern Illinois, down into um, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi. And as we get into Thursday, here's that slight risk down here across the southeast uh, for mainly damaging winds and hail. And might see an isolated tornado. Tomorrow, here you go. Low pressure center sitting here. Here's your 540. This is your 540 critical thickness line, your rain snow line, everything north up here, this is snow and some very heavy falling snow across eastern Colorado, northern Kansas, southern uh, Nebraska, and then storms starting to break out here into uh, that sector of the slight risk, damaging winds again, large hail, maybe a couple tornadoes. As we get into early morning on Thursday, here's your low pressure center here, here's your rain snow line. Coming up here, some heavy snow starting to go on across southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois, even back into um, Iowa and Missouri. And then we do have some of those, those uh, rain and thunderstorms going on down here across the south. And as we get a little later on, this is early or later, or I'm sorry, early in the afternoon. Here's the rain snow line, and this is what we're watching. These winds are starting to kick off some of the lake effect snow, uh, snow bands, and that could produce some very heavy snow in a short amount of time for places down towards Chicago, over towards Rockford, over towards um, St. Charles, and then downstate into the central portion of Illinois, and maybe even into Indiana. These winds are going to be very strong. That's something we have to watch out for is these winds on the backside could be uh, 40 to 50 mile per hour with gusts. We've even forecast potentially to be as high as 70 miles per hour. So almost hurricane force gusts um, being possible with this storm as it does move off to the northeast. And I fully expect blizzard warnings to, pop, to come out uh, if the winds do kick that high where the snow uh, falls uh, falls heavier. Low pressure center sitting here by late Friday. Um, this is by about 7 to 8 p.m. Friday, depending on what time zone you're in. Uh, here comes the snow still blowing off the lake, still heavy snow probably falling in Chicago. And then as we get into uh, early Friday morning, I'm sorry, that was late Thursday right here. And this is early Friday morning. Low pressure center sitting here. 
Um, cold front now draping down here. We're starting to get a, some pretty heavy snow falling into uh, PA and western New York as it moves off to the snow potential. This is the GF or the uh, NAM model. We'll go th quickly through these. Um, you can see some heavier snow falling by early in the morning Thursday across Iowa. As we get into uh, Thursday, about 8 a.m., you can see here's the heavy snow band coming up through northwestern Illinois, southern Wisconsin into Iowa. As we get into um, Thursday afternoon, this is the heavy, the snow's coming up off the lake, and then uh, as we move into uh, early morning on Friday, it moves off to the east, and finally the snow back here uh, subsides. Going on over, this is the uh, this is the NAM model. We'll get past that. This is the the GFS model, and you can see there's your heaviest band of snow here across the Midwest from eastern Iowa into southern Wisconsin. And then the Euro showing much of the same, as much as a foot, maybe a little bit of more, a little bit more snow according to the Euro. And uh, this is the RPM model, and you can see uh, some very heavy snow falling out across Nebraska as well as up into uh, Wisconsin. As much as a foot or more of snow will be could potentially fall out across central Illinois. But this is the interesting thing: the storms coming south, uh, we see these lake effect bands coming in. And that shows the western suburbs of Chicago out towards Rockford potentially getting as much as 6 to 8 or maybe even a little bit more um, inches of accumulating snow there. So this track of the RPM has really shifted the main snow band south. And we can zoom in and you can see there's our Chicago area with the western suburbs there getting out some pretty heavy snow and gusty winds. So anyways, that's all we have. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, you can continue to follow us. You can follow me. At, uh, on Facebook, or you can follow me at Swift Forecaster on Twitter. I'll be posting throughout the next several days on this storm, and uh, we'll have links on here to uh, guide you to where you need to go. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, stay safe out there.